Hey guys, it's Miss B. Um, I've been promising to do a very quick, short tutorial on facial proportions for a few people. So we're going to go over just some really simple, basic facial proportions, how to divide the face up, where to place certain features. And um, this does not mean that this is all you need to know about drawing faces, but this is just a basic tutorial on how to start, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do is create a very thinly sketched, very lightly pressed oval, okay? Remember I said to do it lightly <laughs> and to do it quickly because this is not going to be the shape of your face at the end. We will be erasing this. This is just a basic, outline of about what a face should look like okay next thing we're gonna do and I know this is always tripping people up but please bear with me I promise it'll make sense in the end you are going to go ahead and divide your face in half so we're gonna look here at the top and we're gonna look down here where our you know hypothetical chin would be and we're just going to very lightly draw a little line this is going to be our eye line okay the next thing that we're going to do, just to make sure we get all of the features on here first, is we are going to divide from the eye line down to the chin again, about halfway. We're going to make a little line, very light, and I'm sure you can guess this is going to be your nose line. And then one more time, we're going to divide from here, our nose line, down to our chin in half, and that is going to be what we call our mouth line. Okay? Very simple, right? Okay, I'm gonna move the paper up just a little bit so you can get a clear picture. All right, so we're gonna go back to the eye line first. Now, this is just a general um, idea about the size and shape, but just in general, you should be able to fit about five of whatever size eye you draw across from corner to corner. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. What I'm saying is, let's say we draw something about this size and you can make it look like that little football shape that everybody loves to do it's totally fine because we can go in and fix it okay the reason you want to do it this size is if I were to measure from here to here I could fit one on the side one in between another here and maybe a little bit to the side it doesn't need to be perfect but what we don't want to see is some gigantic eye right where you don't have any room anywhere then you're going to mess up all of the other proportions on the face and we also don't want to see some teeny tiny little eye because then it's again going to mess up all of your proportions going forward because the eyes are what we use as a base for all of the size of the other features okay so just real quickly I'm gonna draw my eyes we can go back and correct them like I said don't worry about making them perfect yet we're just trying to get an idea of where everything needs to be so that we can begin okay so that's just very simple the next thing that we're gonna do is for just a general nose shape um, the typical person is gonna have a nose where the outside of the nostrils is almost like a straight up and down line from the inner corner of the eye down to the nose line, okay? Now remember when I say general, that means not for everybody. You have to go in and you have to determine, okay, do I have a smaller nose like this or do I have a wider nose? And I can say typically for men, you are gonna have a slightly wider nose. And one way to find out is literally hold this up to your face and press it against the inner corner of your eye straight up and down. And if you can feel that the pencil is moving out a little bit, that is a sign that your nose might actually be somewhere around here. There's nothing wrong with it. This is a very small nose. We wanna make sure that the nose size is accurate because if you make it too small, it's gonna look like a Barbie nose and it won't look like you can breathe, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a line with our pencil, the middle of the eye, the middle of that pupil down to the mouth line is where we usually see the corners of the mouth. Now I understand that that looks very wide and I'm gonna explain, okay? so. Obviously, we don't want to start the lip from there, correct? That would look ridiculous, all right? That's not what that line indicates, at least not in my opinion. What it indicates to me is the corners of the mouth. So if we were to do this, basically what it's showing me is that 
my little lips are going to meet somewhere in this area. Okay, you see the difference between just starting the lip way out on the edge and bringing an upper lip and then the bottom lip. Okay, we're going to fix all of this, but this is just to give you an idea. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and go back up to the eyes. Now, here is what I see a lot of, and I'm going to use a little piece of scratch paper. Okay, so here is what I get a lot of football shapes right or it almost kind of looks like a little lemon or something okay I get why we have this little thing here because we do want to show the tear duct but guys your bottom line of your eye is never going to be as wide as the top line or as rounded either okay what we want to do is you want to look at your eye obviously because you're gonna have all different shapes some people's eyes kind of tilt up some people's eyes are quite large and they kind of round down. Everybody's eyes are going to be a little bit different. If you're just going with a basic eye shape and we're just trying to do a simple eye, I would stick with something like this. Obviously, yours is going to be different if you're drawing a person. But if we're just looking at a basic eye shape, you want the upper eyelid to be curved. You want to show a little bit of a curve right here with the, with the tear duct. And then you want that bottom line to be a little more straight and kind of round up into the corner of the eye okay and I'm pressing pretty hard here but it's just so that it shows up on camera try not to press too hard try to keep it more sketchy like this because you will make mistakes and you're gonna need to go in and correct okay so we're gonna do that on our picture here I'm gonna erase this little eye that I created but we're gonna try and keep it around the same size so I'm just gonna do a very generic eye okay and I'm going to have it round up into that corner, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Have it round up into the corner, okay? And if they're a little bit off, don't worry. We can always go back in. We can fix it. This is just a quick tutorial, so I'm going to move kind of fast. The next thing that we want to do, going back to my scratch paper, is we're going to do the pupil and the um, color part of the eye, okay? So here's what we see a lot of when I see people drawing their iris. They do one of two things. Either they make the eye really small like that, or they make it really big, okay? If you do an eye like this where your iris is just gigantic, it's going to look like an anime character. And if you do something like this, I don't want to say what it looks like, but you do look like either you're crazy or you're scared or possibly that you took some kind of an illegal substance, okay? So we want to avoid making it too small and too large. What most eyes do, and this is not for everybody, but what most eyes do is they actually come down, they barely graze the bottom, and then they go back up. So you can't see the whole thing, right, like this. But it's also not this gigantic thing taking over most of the eye. I mean, we do need space for the whites of our eyes and all of the shadows and things like that. Okay, so there we go. That's what we're aiming for. Okay, so we're going to do that here. I'm just going to show the eye kind of coming down. All right, and we're going to do the same over here. Make sure it's not too big. Okay, I'm going to alter that shape just a little bit. Okay, so then we're going to go in and we're going to do our pupil, right? We're going to run into that same issue. So back to the examples. You don't want to do a teeny tiny one, and you don't want to do a gigantic one for the reasons we already talked about. What you want to do is have a pupil that's about a third the size of the eye. And you can just sketch it in really lightly. Some people's are larger, uh, some you know are kind of hidden by the upper eyelid. It really does depend, but this is just a general idea. Okay, so next we're going to go down to the nose. Now you can see here, we don't need these lines anymore, right? Because we have kind of sort of taken care of what our eyes will start looking like. And then we're going to take care of these, erase these, because that just makes it look like the nose is huge. And what you want to do 
is you just want to brush those outside nostrils on the nose against those lines that we drew down, okay? So then we can go in, and because I'm not really looking at a specific person, I'm just going to give a very quick sort of idea of what a nostril could look like, okay, the inside nostrils. And there we go. We have the bottom part of our nose. Now, it'll look a little bit different once you start going in and adding a little shading and everything, but we're going to kind of wait on that and see how everything pulls together, okay? Same thing with the eyes. We, we have not forgotten about the crease and the eyelashes and all of that fun stuff. We're just going to kind of get an outline of everything, and then we're going to go back and we're going to try to make it look more detailed, okay? So down to the lips, right? We're just going to do some simple lips. Now, a little tip. Upper lip is almost always going to be slightly smaller than the bottom lip, okay? Now, that's not the same for everybody, like I keep saying. I know you're going to hear it a thousand times and get sick of it. But everybody's mouth is going to be a little bit different. But you really need to look at yours and determine, okay, these little points, are they points or are they more rounded, okay? When you do the top lip, try to do the entire thing because a lot of people forget about this line and they just leave, a line there that's straight. But if you look at your lips, it's not going to be perfectly straight. It tends to kind of fit really nicely and follow along with the shape of the upper lid. Okay? Or, I'm sorry, upper lip line. So it tends to mimic it. Okay? So you want to show that a little bit. You don't want it to look flat. It starts to look very cartoonish. And then the next thing is the lower lip. I'm just going to give her a slightly fuller lip. If this is a girl, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see how feminine or masculine, but I'm going for a girl, to be honest. Okay, and then we can just use a little bit of shading. We can go in and adjust if we made any mistakes, all that fun stuff, okay? We can show a little bit of shadow here, you know, going up. If your mouth looks a little bit wonky, like it's off a bit, you can go in and just add a little bit of detail, just trying to make it look more 3D, okay? But the big thing with that bottom lower lip is that we really want to take the eraser and not make it look so defined. I mean, unless you want your person to look like they are wearing lipstick or like a strong lip liner, it's not necessary to do a very strong line there because it just starts to look a little bit more flat, okay? So now that we have a general idea of where our features are going to be, I'm going to go back up to the eyes and I'm going to start adding a little bit more definition, okay? So I'm not going to work with color today, so I'm just going to start with the one thing that everybody tends to forget, and that is your eyelid crease, okay? Everybody's is different. Some people barely have one. Some people don't have one at all. Some people, especially older people, are going to have a much stronger one. For me, I'm going to do something very simple, sort of like this. Okay, you can add a little bit of shadow if you want to. And then to give her a look of eyelashes, Okay, what I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to thicken up that upper eyelid line. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start doing some lashes, okay? Now, here's what I see a lot of. When people do lashes, I'm just going to do a quick eye shape. I see a lot of this real strong line doll lashes. All of them going straight up, right? That looks more like a, a sunset you drew when you were five. Okay, we don't want to do that. What we're going for is something a little bit more natural. You want to see some little, let me see if I can get this on the camera to the side a little bit for you. But it's almost like a little swoosh, okay? I'm pressing a little bit harder at the bottom, and then it's just kind of flickering out. And do you see how it looks a little bit messy? That's good. That is not a problem, okay? Real lashes are messier. So we don't want them to look perfect. And you'll also notice that as we go towards the middle, those lashes do start coming up a little bit more. And as we go here, you want them to be a lot smaller, a lot lighter, and they're actually going to be pushed out this way, okay? If this starts to look a little too much, then you can just stop. You know, we don't want her to look like she's wearing falsies or anything, but there we go. Okay, same thing over here. We're just going to go real light. Kind of have some haphazard lashes, just going in all kinds of directions, okay? We can add 
a little bit more definition to the pupil, kind of add a little bit of shading, make it look like she's got some, even though we're not using color, we can just do a little bit of this, outline the iris a little bit more, make it look a little bit more shaded. All these little things that you can do in just a real quick drawing like the one I'm doing here, just to make it look a little bit more 3D, okay? All right, then we can take this bottom lash line and we can just do a couple of random ones. Now this is just for somebody that has a lot of lashes. This is not gonna be something that will work for every single person, you understand, right? Okay, and another thing is when you're working with faces for boys, I would actually urge you not to add a ton of eyelashes if you're trying to make it look more masculine because if you add too much what ends up happening is it starts to take a very feminine look and if, if that's okay with you then that's okay but just for most of the boys that I've helped with their drawings they don't want it to look too feminine or too girly they want their eyes to look more masculine okay all right so next thing with the nose this is where you're going to look at your nose and you're going to figure out okay is there something that i need to add here that's going to make it look more like mine that's the point where you need to look at, at at where you've done things and see okay is my nose in the right spot or should i have brought it down a little bit do i have a really strong dip that comes down do i have really strong shadows on the side here and then kind of like a little ball at the end of my nose. This is the point you're gonna kind of look at your specific nose and you're going to determine what does my nose really look like, you know, in order to make it look like yours, okay? There's all kinds of things you can do to make your nose look more realistic, add a little bit more shadow here to the Brit, whatever you wanna do, okay? I'm just gonna add a little, some weird random things here just to make it look a little bit more realistic, maybe a little shadow around the bottom part. And if you feel like it's taking on a little too much, you can always go back in, erase a little bit, you know. Maybe I don't want that strong outline of the bottom, not, you know, the outside of the nostrils. Whatever I want to do, okay? We're just going to adjust that. And then you can start with that. Okay, and that's just a very dark, that's actually kind of awful, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> really strong when, you, when you've got the light from the camera on there and then it starts to look like she's got little boogers or something coming out of her nose. It's quite strong with that light on there, okay? But this is just a general idea of how you could start adding a few shadows. And if you decide, you know what, I like it better without it, it looks a little bit better, then by all means just go in, erase most of it, and then just stick with what you've got. That's totally fine. Which is what I'm going to do, okay? Because I think I liked it better without all the shadows. All right, so there's my nose, right? Now, as for the lip, you can add this little bit of shadow because a lot of people have that. If you don't have it, don't add it. Don't fake it. It'll start to look funky. Then we can go in, and the best place to just add a little bit of shadow is going to be in the corners of the lips. And it'll also sort of take away from a look. If, if it starts to look like your lips are a little too big or a little too wide or whatever, that's going to help just try to make it look a little bit more realistic. I will also say that the upper lip tends to be quite a bit darker than the bottom lip. And you're going to see that on most people's faces. I, I can't imagine... I've ever seen a mouth that didn't have that look to it, okay? And this is just a really quick way to do it. Um, you want to make sure that you're checking the corners of the mouth because if you have a face where you're, sorry, I just like to go back and work on things sometimes when I see that I'm not happy. Um, when you're looking at the lips, you want to make sure if you're the type of person where the lips kind of turn down naturally, you don't want it to look like it's, it's like there's almost a smirk, you know, although some people do have that naturally. You just want to kind of um, check that, check, check it against your face and make sure that it looks the way that it should. OK, Ooh, look at the difference in the lighting there. Just moving it over a little bit. Wow. So anyway, um, now we're going to go in and this is the fun part. We're going to do the eyebrows and we are going to change the shape of the face, right? Because nobody has this perfect little weird egg shaped face. Well, some people, but I've never seen it. So we're going to go in and you're going to figure out where do your eyebrows start. Now, here's what we don't want to see. I know I keep showing you these. Okay, we don't want to see some weird, sharpie drawn eyebrow. 
What you want to do, this is a no, okay? What you want to do is you want to kind of start with a shape and you want to start taking your brush and you actually want to draw the individual hairs like they naturally look, okay? And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to say hers starts about here, all right? Make sure you give yourself enough space. Like we don't want to put an eyebrow right on top. And let me show you how that looks because I do get that quite a bit. And I want to make sure, like I have a lot of people who draw their eyebrow right above the eye. And it's like, where do you even have room? You're going to look like some Cro-Magnon person. Okay, so we want to make sure that we give a little bit of space and we want to follow your natural arch. And do you see how I'm using the pencil very sketchy and light? Actually going in the direction that your hair naturally grows. Okay, girls, if you do fill up your eyebrows, okay, I know thick, full eyebrows are in right now. There are ways to do that without making it look scary and too thick, okay? You want to make sure you're checking the shape of your eyebrow, okay? Most people, there's a slight arch, almost like a line coming down, and so that's the area you want to have it arch up, and then all of a sudden your pencil is going to start coming down with the rest of the hairs, okay? We're gonna do that over here as well. And everybody's eyebrows are a little bit different. Like one of my eyebrows, I feel like it arches up quite a bit. And then the other one is a little bit more flat. So you just wanna take a look at yours. It's okay if yours is different. It, you don't have to make yourself look like some kind of weird Barbie face, okay? Cause it, it will look off. All right, so there we go. We got some thick, nice, bushy eyebrows for her. They're very Vogue right now, okay? And now is where we're going to actually change the shape of the face, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I want you to look at the side of your eye, and I want you to determine how far away the edge of it is from the side of your eye, okay? For most people, it's gonna be pretty close. It's not gonna be that far out the way that we drew with our first um, sort of what do you call it, like oval face, okay? So you're gonna bring that in a little bit, okay? If we have a more rounded face, you can keep the original shape where it's a little bit more rounded. If you have a stronger face, like you have some cheekbones, feel free to make that line just a little bit more angled, okay? And then here's the important area to pay attention to, right around here, right around your mouth line, you're gonna get that turn in your jaw. And again, this depends on how old you are. If you're a younger person, your, your, your face is still gonna look very round, and that's okay. We don't wanna give you angles that aren't there because it's going to age the face that you draw, okay? For me, though, I'm gonna go ahead and just show a little bit of a jawline right here, a little bit over here. You want it to be about the same on both sides, otherwise the face starts to look a little wonky. And then this is a really important part, too. You have to give yourself the correct size for the chin, okay? So when I'm doing my chin, I need to say, okay, is there a little line under here and do I need to elongate my chin just a little bit? Did I give myself not enough room there? And if that's the case, just bring that line a little bit further down and there we go, okay? And that's sort of what we're looking for. Everybody's chin is gonna be a little bit different. Some have tiny, little bitty chins, some have square chins, some have pointy chins. You're gonna look at your face and you're gonna determine what your face looks like, okay? Then we come up here, make sure you give yourself enough of a forehead. Do we see why we needed all that space now? Because here is the top of your head and that has to include your hair. Everybody always like scoffs when I say that you're gonna need your eyes halfway down the shape of the head because they're like, oh, that's gonna look weird, miss. I'm not, I don't have alien head. Okay, no, nobody has an alien head, but you're forgetting about your hairline. You need to be able to show, okay, where is your actual forehead? How large is it, right? And you need to give yourself room to put your hair in. And so that's what we're gonna do. Even then, look, you see how it kind of looks a little too small? So you could actually have gone a little bit further down and put those features in there. And this is where you'll start kind of doing the hair. I'm not gonna get too much into that because this video is already running pretty long, but this is just a general idea. Okay, so here's my hair, blah, blah, blah. And then we can do our neck. Now the neck is important, especially for the boys if you can't cover it with your hair. Remember that your neck supports your head. We don't wanna do some teeny tiny little neck that comes here 
under the chin and looks like if you moved, your neck would snap. Okay, you want the neck to kind of come out of the jawline and you can hide it with the hair if you don't want to deal with it at all, but that's what we need to do. And then the last thing I'm going to add in here is going to be the ear, okay? So for the boys especially that can't cover their ear up with all that hair, here's what you need to know. You need to hold a pencil up and determine where is the top of your ear. For me, it's right about here. And where is the bottom of your ear? And for me, it's right about here. And then you can just sort of connect the two depending on your ear shape. And you just want to draw a little bit of... A, just a little touch of some kind of outline and then the shadows inside okay we don't need to go crazy trying to draw all this this is not you know a professional drawing this is just for right now as an example if you're a girl you can kind of tuck your hair in behind there or you can just cover it entirely you can draw yourself a little hoop you can do whatever you want to do with the ear that you've created it's up to you okay but this is your standard face um, if you want to and if you're comfortable, you can always go back in, start adding some more shadows, okay, more highlights, whatever you need to do. Maybe she's got a little butt chin, maybe she's got more shadows on the side, maybe she's got stronger cheekbones. This is where you get to just add those little bitty details to make it look more realistic, okay? But this is a general idea of how to draw a face. So. I hope it was helpful and please make sure you're paying attention to your proportions and if you need help, let me know. Bye.